Okay, welcome back to the next part of the video. This is my Earth to uh, Phobos video series that I'm putting together. Although, as you'll recall, we had to abort the plan for going to Phobos due to a fuel miscalculation on my part. So instead, we're going to land at Mars. And I'm trying to uh, do a runway landing because A, runway landings are cool. And B, we have basically no fuel left. Uh, we have 0.0, .0 in the main and only 3.4 RCS. So a landing pad or landings out of the question. So I'm pause the video and get back to uh, what we're doing here. I'm trying to get to an equatorial position of 12.745 degrees. And when I arrive at that equatorial position, I want my rate to be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 across the board. That will mean that we are in line with the runway and we are uh, we're moving neither north nor south. So a few things that I'm looking at here, obviously keeping a very close eye watch on that equatorial position, but I also need to watch arrow break MFD to make sure that when I arrive at the runway, I'm not traveling at some ridiculous speed. Also trying to bring my altitude down so that I don't have to drop quickly in the last little bit. You know, we want to arrive at the runway, um, you know, just a couple hundred meters above the ground, but we can't get down too far too fast because they're the atmosphere will thicken up enough that it will make us uh, make us slow down too much. Speaking of slowing down too much, let me retract the air brake for now. And I'll put that back out here shortly and get rid of that elevator trim so that we don't climb. Watching that equatorial position, I guess I need to bank a bit more to the north just temporarily because my rate's coming down a little too fast and my equatorial position isn't moving to the 12.745 figure fast enough. So everything's looking okay. I'm not real practiced with Mars runway landing, so I can't really evaluate everything and say that, yes, this is exactly what I want to see at this point. Go ahead and pull that air brake, put that air brake back out. Gonna have to play with the air brake back and forth a little bit. Putting in a bit up elevator trim just to uh, extend my glide path. So I'm kind of using the arrow brake to slow down, using the air brake to slow down, but I'm also putting in a bit of elevator trim to make sure that I do glide out far enough. Okay, we're at 12.505, so we've got just another 0.2 degrees to go. 500 kilometers to go to the base. If I go to a level position, you can see we're pretty well lined up. You can see we've all got almost a straight line over, but it's not quite straight yet. And we're going to be arriving with a velocity of 600 meters per second. I'm not going to try to do any crazy runway landing where I arrive at just, you know, 500 meters a second, because then the um, the Raven Star is not fast enough to have surface control and you have to use your RCS to pitch up steeply and I've never done that successfully in the Raven Star and I'm not even going to try. In my mind, if you want to have routine normal landings at Olympus, you need to have a runway that's sufficiently long enough that you can land, you know, reasonably um, or you just need a different craft. You need a craft that's got really, really wide wings, so you get a lot of lift. So we're at 12.625, so we've got just 0.1 degree to go. And we're 400 kilometers out from the base. We're at an altitude of 60, 16 kilometers. Everything's looking okay to me. I just want to get lined up on that equatorial position because you know I still have to null out the rate. Put in just a touch of up elevator trim just to make sure that my glide path is you know going out far enough. Okay, we're at 12.695, so we'll be at 12.7 here in a second. Okay, now we just have 0 0.045 to go. So I'll probably want to start nulling out that rate now. Twelve point 
12.725, so just 0 0.2, 0 0.02 rather. Yeah, let's put in some more right bank to really bring that rate down. There we go. Now we just have just a little bit more to go, and then we'll be perfectly lined up with the base or the runway. 12.42. We're going to overshoot it a little bit, but so we'll back up the other way a little bit. But the rate's almost 0 0.0000. Okay, rate is. Now we just want a rate of, there we go, just a little bit more. Okay, now we're moving technically to the south, but we don't, we don't want our rate to climb any more than just, you know, point what it is right now, you know, with just one at the end. Okay, 300 kilometers to go to the runway. Equatorial position is 12.747, and we're moving slowly to the south, so that'll be 12.745 here shortly. Now let's uh, null out the rate, put in a little bit of left bank to make sure that that rate gets back to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, there we go. Now we just have to watch it real closely see because let me just explain one small thing even though the rate says it's 0 0.0000 we still have some small amount of rate to the to the north or to the south and the way the way that we know which way it is is this here it says north so basically if you could imagine that there were five decimal points or six or seven or eight decimal points we would see that we would have a rate of 0 0.0000 two or something like that so we're still going a little bit to the north so we've got to watch our equatorial position that uh, so that it doesn't end up you know uh, getting out just a bit so now we'll unpause now you can see our rate just flipped to the south so technically we are going a little bit to the south at the moment so we just have to watch that real closely See, it went from, now it's at 745, so what I want to do is maybe bank just a little bit to the north until that flips from south to north. Mach 5. But otherwise, we're straight in front of the runway there. It just flipped. It went from south to north, so now... In a fairly short order, you'll see that equatorial position go back to 12.745. So we're straight in front of the runway, and we're heading straight toward the runway. Now we're just 190 kilometers out, so we just have to make sure that when we arrive at the runway, there the bit just fl uh, the rate just flipped again to the south. So I'm going to bank a bit to the north, flip it back around. I think it actually might. Uh, favor a bit of south just due to the rotation of the, of the planet maybe i'm not sure if that has anything to do with it but it might help if you add if you if you keep in just the smallest amount of left bank angle okay we're eight kilometers in altitude and we are 150 kilometers out let's bring the air brake back in we're getting down to the point where eliminate the uh, elevator trim Getting down to the point where it's going to get hard to control the uh, Raven Star with surface controls. Okay, I need to pay attention to that rate. We're slipping all the way to 1243. Warning, coolant temperature. Uh, we can put the radiator out, that's fine. Okay, only 100 kilometers to go to the runway. We actually need to be getting down lower. Watching the equatorial position. Let me reset that annoying. System reset. Watching the rate. The rate says we're going north by some small amount, so I'm just going to trust it. 100 kilometers from the runway. Okay. 
equatorial position. Now it says we're moving a bit south. We definitely don't want that because we're technically a little bit off. So put in a little bit of left bank. Okay. Throw down the gear before I forget about it. Five thousand. Gear down and lock. Okay, we're in front of the runway. Rate is uh, zero. Equatorial position is just a tiny bit off, but we're moving toward the north. Watch our vertical speed. Okay, we're at 12, 12.745. You are cleared to land. Okay, at this point, I'm just really going to have to eyeball it. I can't concern myself with the rate and the equatorial position. We're just too close to the runway. 35 kilometers to go. Getting ready to throw out the air brake. Put out the air brake now, in fact. Watch the vertical speed, though. 600. This is why you need a really long runway at Mars. See, we're gonna we're gonna be passing over the runway at three hundred, two hundred, one hundred, fifty, twenty. <sighs> Darn it, twenty one three two. Let me try that one more time. I, I hate to end this whole thing on a dumb failure like that. And we've, we're only 12 minutes in, so let's try that one more time. I've got a save point there somewhere. Probably that one. This should be the most current. Yeah, right when you get up to the runway, you got a flare, but. It's, it's tricky. It's really hard to land on Mars, uh, runway land on Mars. Okay, detected. reset reset. the annoying warnings. Okay, double check everything to see. Okay, we're still moving toward 12.745. Okay, I want to focus on getting a little bit lower in altitude because I was kind of, I felt like I was kind of forcing myself lower there at the end and that caused my vertical speed to increase more. So I want to uh, let go ahead and let myself descend a bit more this time. Okay, we're at 12.375. Well, four, four, five, so th point three degrees to go. Maybe start nulling out the rate. Bring in the air, air brake for now. And as I do that, I think I want to put in a bit of up elevator trim just to help zero out the vertical speed Mark a little seven. bit. Twelve four nine, a little bit farther to go. Six hundred kilometers out. Okay, let's go ahead and go back to level position or level wings level, so we don't bring the rate down too fast. And then we'll have to, you know, do some steering at the last minute, and that's never good. A little bit of get rid of that elevator trim to make sure that we don't climb. Okay. 
equatorial position, 12.545, so just point, well now, okay, now it's 12.4, or 12.545, so point two to go. Five hundred kilometers out, altitude eight kilometers, just trying to get down. And actually what I'll do this time is I'll save as soon as I get the equatorial position all set. Do a quick save that way if I hit the runway again I can try one more time without having to go back quite so far. Four hundred and sixty kilometers out. Put in a little bit of elevator trim just to, yeah, you know, just watching over here just to make sure we're still extended out. Go throw out the air brake just for a few seconds, slow things down a bit. Equatorial position twelve point six, so we're only point one four five from being lined up. Put in a bit more left bank just to make sure that that rate doesn't uh, go into the south bit of up elevator trim 5000 okay let's close the air brake for now just to make sure that we still have the range and we do so let's put the air brake back out and slow down okay 12.630 12.645, so just 0.1 to go. Let's go wings level and actually let's start nulling out that rate. Eh, not quite yet, we still got a bit to go. Okay, altitude 4.5 kilometers, vertical speed's okay, distance to base 350. Had a bit of up elevator trim just to check our range. Information. APU fuel 60%. You can see here an arrow break. Shows we're not quite making it to the runway. So quite a bit more up elevator trim. And it shows our velocity with landing is still 700 meters a second. Let's bring in the air brake for a minute. We're slowing down a little bit too much too quick. Get rid of that up elevator trim though. Equatorial position is 695, so we're almost there again. Ooh darn, I did not want to climb. It's the one thing you don't want to do. Alright, I'm going to do a quick save at this point. Because we're almost lined up. And we're only 285 kilometers out. Seven one five, so just a tiny bit more to go, and we we do have a rate that's taking us to the north, so we're set there. Okay, now we're gonna descend. Two hundred fifty-five kilometers to go to the runway. Actually, let me pitch up a bit. Check my range. Yeah, we still got enough range. Okay, gonna bank a bit to the uh, right, which is south, to start getting rid of the rate. Yeah, it's a little too soon. Our rate's very low. Okay, now bank to the right. Actually, I guess I could have done that a little sooner. So getting the rate to zero, zero, zero. You can see we overshot the position a little bit. Okay, now the rate has us going slightly south. 5,000. Okay. 
error rate. Uh, position's fine. Now we just need to eliminate the little bit of rate that we've got. Okay, there it is. Okay, we're, we're all set. We're straight in front of the runway. 175 kilometers to go to the runway. Warning, coolant temperature. Oh, yeah. 4,000. Okay, we are arriving at the runway with enough velocity to spare, and in fact, we have a little too much, perhaps. So it's a little too early to throw. Well, throw out the air brake just for a second, just to slow down a little bit more. Okay, our rates got us going a bit south, and we're positions just a little bit off. We're at twelve four or seven four four. I'm going to say that's long enough with the air brake for now. 120 kilometers to go. The bank angle is there because it's my rate shows that I'm moving a little to the south, so I'm just banking slightly left, which is north, just to get the bit just to get the rate back to the north. A little bit more time on the air brake. Just 97 kilometers to go. Okay, again, the rate is just a indicating just a little bit of south. It's not what we want. 2,000. Seventy-five kilometers to go to the runway. Okay, rate is good. Equatorial position is just a little bit off, but we've got the rate. Just another second or two on the air brake. You are cleared to land. Gear Landing down. gear before we forget about it. Before I forget about it. 50 kilometers to go, so we want to get down close to the ground. Okay, now it's basically visual. I can't worry about the rate and the equatorial position. It's, we, you know, we just can't look at that. Six hundred. Or too high, again. Five hundred. Four hundred. Watch the vertical speed. Three hundred. Boy, that goes by fast. One hundred seventy five, fifty, thirty, twenty, ten, six, two wheels down. Good enough. Good enough for me. You can see even with this crazy long runway. We're still gonna roll off the end of it, my gosh. Well, part of that is actually kind of orbiter's fault, in my opinion, because the way the braking system works, the higher your frame rate, the worse braking you get. So you can see my frame rate is actually it's not real high at the moment. But if you have a V-Sync off, you get these really crazy frame rates in orbiter, you know, like three, four hundred frames per second, and it actually makes the braking really bad. Wow, I must need a runway that's like 100 kilometers long or something. This is ridiculous, actually. 
I'm 27 kilometers from the center of the runway. I would have thought that my runway was long enough, but clearly it's not. At least not to be able to come in and land and still have surface control. And again, I don't, I don't think it's practical to uh, do those, you know, those challenge style run runway landings on a consistent basis. I am standing on the brakes. Subsonic. I'm just curious how far past the runway I'm going to end up going. That'll give me an idea of how long I need to make that runway. Man, 40 kilometers past the center of the runway. Are you kidding me? And actually, before I end this part of the video, since there's still a couple minutes left, I'll actually edit the runway file and show you how to do it. Wheel stop. All right, that's wheel stop. That's the end of our journey. So I went 41 kilometers past the middle of the runway. So that tells me... That tells me I need a runway that's like, like 90 kilometers. So let's do this. Let's exit orbiter real quick. And I'll go into the orbiter directory. And if you go to uh, that, I guess it actually also depends if you actually have a runway installed. If you don't, then you won't see this, but go to config, then go to Mars base and then there should be there if you haven't installed a runway then you know go to orbit hangar and get one but you'll have a olympus runway dot cfg see i made mine i think mine is 16 kilometers long i think the default was like i don't remember what the default was so instead of being six so it's basically eight kilometers from the center of the runway in one direction eight kilometers in the other direction so I'm going to do this really crazy. I'm going to make mine 45 kilometers in one direction, 45 in the other, which is totally ridiculous. And then edit it down here as well so that the runway lights are correct. And I guess that's the width. Um, I've never really thought much about it. the width. The width seems okay to me. It's a little narrow, but so there's that. Now quickly, let me actually reload that save point. The most, the newest one, this one, and then just see what happens. See what happens with a ninety-kilometer runway. Warning conditions okay. detected. System reset. So how close are we? Two hundred and eighty kilometers out. Yeah, that's a pretty good save point. This won't take long. If, if you don't want to watch, go ahead and tune out. We're, I'm going to be past 30 minutes here pretty shortly. But this will hopefully just take a couple more minutes. All right, so I need to get the equatorial position back to 12745. So let's just do that first before we worry about much of anything else. If I were, if I were going to do a lot of you know, runway landings, I would probably want to increase that width two, maybe even three times. I just don't think that, you know, first of all, landing a winged vessel on Mars like these is just absolutely ridiculous. It's so unrealistic. It's not even funny. But if you wanted to say, okay, yeah, we actually did build a runway on Mars, then the only way you're going to land these types of vessels that have super narrow wings is to just have a runway that's just stupidly long. You know, to doing it regularly, like on a daily flight, or, you know, when you take a break from orbiter for a month. Oh, crap, hang on, my rates. My equatorial position's all off. But anyway, you know, if you take a break from orbiter and you come back to it, there's no way you're going to be in good enough practice to land on a 10-kilometer uh, long runway or an 8-kilometer long runway. 
Okay, there we got the equatorial position, or the, rather the rate we're heading toward the south, which is what we need. We'll be getting closer. So anyway, let me not commentate. Let me just concentrate on this landing. <clears throat> 4,000. Okay, it's... Warning, coolant temperature. System reset. Mock four. Okay, increase my bank angle because my rate, or I'm getting very close to the equatorial position now, so. 3,000. Okay, that's enough. Just 140 kilometers out. And it goes by quickly because we're still moving very fast. Now I believe if we're 120 kilometers from the center of the runway, then we're actually going to be coming up to the runway fairly quickly since we have such a crazy long runway now. So I need, I, I sh I'll have to descend quicker than I'm used to. Oh man, my equatorial position. Come on. Two thousand. You are cleared to land. Okay, gear down. Gear down. One thousand. Bring the air brake back in there. Gear down and lock. Seven hundred. Yep. Six hundred. Air break in. Five hundred. Four hundred. Three hundred. Two hundred. Yeah, we're arriving. One hundred seventy five fifty flare thirty fifteen seven two wheels down wheels up three. wheels down. Let's see if we can actually stop on a fifty or ninety kilometer runway. <laughs> so did, did I put the air brake back in? That was dumb. But for me, at least, you know, taking a long break from Orbiter, and if I were wanting to come back and do a runway landing on Mars, to me, this is the only way I'd be able to do it. Just to have a runway that's, and even this is not easy. Mach 2. We're now, we're still not at the center of the runway. Maybe, maybe this is a bit longer than it has to be. But we're still at 380 meters per second, so who knows. But you can see on the HUD, it says Olympus runway, you know, here, this, when this is zero, that'll be the center of the runway. So we'll still have 40 some kilometers past that. So I guess I made it a little bit longer than it needed to be. Though if we want to actually stop, at the halfway point, which will put us basically right by all the buildings, then this is exactly pretty much as long as it needs to be. Subsonic. Maybe even longer than that, because we just passed the buildings. We're now at the center point. So 
So let's see how far we are from the center of the runway when we get wheel stop. Okay, so f uh, about three and a half kilometers from the center of the runway. That means there's another 38 kilometers or s actually about another 37 kilometers of runway still in front of us. So if we wanted to come to Mars and land and then stop by the buildings, then this would be about the right length. Um, with a little bit of practice, you could easily make that work where you could come to a dead stop right there. But that's, you know... I agree if you think that's ridiculous, it is, but all I got to say is try it for yourself and you'll see just how relatively difficult it is. Um, and then and then do this. Once you get it after your 10th, 11th, or 12th try, take a break from Orbiter for a month and then try it again. And, I, and you'll, you'll, just, you'll see how hard it is. So, you know, to have a realistic sized runway at Olympus that you could just, you know, come back to when with little or no practice land on it consistently then this is something you know this is pretty close to about what you need um you know just for my own sake of course i'm not I'm no expert somebody else might be far better at it than me and they might be able to land on a 20 kilometer runway after taking a year off of orbiter i don't know anyway that is going to wrap it up and that's going to wrap it up for this mission uh, if you like the mission leave a comment down below let me know what you thought and if you like the video, like it. If you didn't like it, don't like it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and you like all this Orbiter stuff, then you can be notified when I upload new Orbiter videos. And other than that, I will see you in the next video, whenever that's going to be, whatever it's going to be, I don't know. But uh, we'll figure it out later.